What's going on guys? Today we received this awesome little smart clock. Let's check it out. Smart tech is huge these days and for my birthday, Amelia, my fiance, wanted to get me this smart clock right here from Lemetric. A clock like this is something to take advantage of in terms of productivity and I've had my eye on this for quite a while. So firstly, I'd like to say a big thank you to Lemetric for sending this over to Amelia to gift to us for my recent birthday. The unboxing experience is pretty straightforward. Inside we have the clock, some power plugs, but unfortunately ours did not come with an Australian plug. However, that did not matter because we ended up using the micro USB for power anyway. The overall finish is matte black, which I really love because we all know how much glossy surfaces pick up fingerprints. On top we do have a light sensor which will dim the lighting according to your room's sort of lighting, you know, whether it's dark or light. And uh, yeah, that'll dim that so it makes it easier to read. So we have three buttons on the top. We've got two for scrolling uh, side to side so you can scroll to different apps. Or the one in the center is to select and start, say your stopwatch timer. You could start and pause that. Uh, so that's what the middle one's for, pretty much for functionality. Both the right hand side and the left hand side have built in speakers. Now these are for things like radio, sound alerts, uh, the Bluetooth speaker, things like that. The left hand side also has your power button and the right hand side has your up and down for audio. On the back we do have our port for micro USB and we also have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It's a very simple looking clock. It's gonna fit any setup in any particular color theme, and it's not really gonna create an eyesore because of the matte black color. So why would someone such as yourself benefit from a clock like this? Well, let's actually take a look at some of the controls and the features. The Lemetric Time is very versatile and customizable. By downloading the app, we get access to many in-app apps which are constantly being updated daily. Personally, I love to keep it on the YouTube counter as a daily reminder of how far you guys have allowed us to come since the beginning. And with one simple tap of a button, we can scroll through other available apps. If we go to the Lemetric market, we can sort by categories. There are plenty to choose from, so let's take a look at social and business as examples. In social, you can choose between a number of follower counts or view counters. Last week's PC build video sounds like a good video to track. I've added the view counter app, searched for the video, and now it is tracking the views live. We can set alerts on the video's views to sound at whichever point we want. In business, we can keep track of analytics data and earnings depending on the apps you select. There is also a selection to keep an eye on stock prices. The clock also works with Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, and Spotify. The apps go on for pages and pages, so the customization is endless with this clock. I just thought this would be a neat little gadget to show you guys. As I said, I've been looking at getting one of these for a very long time. There's so much versatility and features, which I'm sure will help not only us, but you guys as well when it comes to productivity and different workloads and things that you do in daily life. Now, of course, that is if you utilize this product's features correctly. One downside for me is that with YouTube being our main platform, YouTube has changed its subscriber count viewing uh, to the nearest hundred, nearest thousand, which means that Lemetric can only display it to the, for instance, us to the nearest thousand. Uh, for someone who's below 100,000, it's to the nearest hundred. And if you're above 1 million, then it's to the nearest 10,000. Now that's not really a fault of Lemetric time at all. That's actually YouTube's problem. But unfortunately, that means we're probably not going to see this number going up while we're sitting there working. Personally, I do love this clock. I think that it has lots of features that we have not seen before in smart clocks. But does it justify the 200 US dollar price tag? While it is the best smart clock I think we have ever come across, it's also one of the most expensive. Now, I guess the price would be up to the end user as to whether they can justify the features and productivity included with this clock and utilize it to its best to see if it's worth it for them or not. But anyway, if you do want to find out more about this clock, uh, I'll leave the links in the description to where you can go check it out. And I have to say, 
we have been enjoying it so far. So this is one that we're gonna be putting in our setup video, which is coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you all watching. Thank you very much for the support. It is greatly appreciated. If you'd like to support our channel, links to our Patreon is down in the description below. Helps us to run our YouTube channel, to afford materials for our custom PCs, and to upgrade our equipment. So thank you to you guys helping to support the channel. Also, you can become a YouTube channel member that's exactly the same as Patreon. I'll leave that link in the description. Again, that helps support us financially. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.